Hey and welcome back guys, it's Greg and today we're going to customize your yoga websites that you probably made in our 30 minute how to create a yoga website tutorial or maybe you just showed up here wanting to make a yoga website in general with your new WordPress. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we'll get jumping in in a moment. Just want to let you know we're going to start pretty basic and edit stuff like text, where the buttons go, um, how to change these images, stuff like that. And then we'll get a little more complicated, um, like how to remove big features or how to change individual parts of your pages and especially get that get fit contact us page working so people can actually sign up and register to your classes through this page and it all looks perfect for your business. All right, that said, you're probably ready to get started, so let's do it. I'm gonna click on the logo to go back to the home page, and we first need to log in. All right, so we're gonna do the forward slash login at the top or WP admin. Either way, and we're going to log in with our password we got from the HostGator Marketplace where we installed WordPress. That should be in your emails. And then right away, we're going to go to users and we're going to change the password. All right, so open up yourself then scroll down to generate password and there you go and confirm it and then update it. Okay, so now let's get cracking. Let's click on the site title to go back to the home page. If you don't see the toolbar at the top, just try refreshing, or you can hit Command or Control R, and perfect. So the first thing I want to change is just the menu tab right here that says Get Fit. We want that to be a little bit more actionable. So hover on your site title, click Menus, and we're just going to change that from Get Fit. Just click on this little tab to open it to Register, and save the menu. Beautiful, now we can click back to our homepage and that should be changed. So first edit, done. Next up, we need a image we can stand looking at on our hero image right here. This could be an image slider if you use like revolution slider, for example, but right now it's just a hero image and uh, we're gonna have to replace this default one because we're getting kind of sick of it, even though it looks cool at first. So at the top, we can just click edit with Elementor. All right, then now we can hover on this entire section, click on the six boxes. Now click style and you'll find our background image. So just click the image and we're gonna replace it with the nice collage we made in the, uh, in the original video using PicMonkey. All right, so I'll link you to PicMonkey in the description and insert media. All right, there we have it guys, looking good. So we have our heading looking good, awarded Yoga Instructor Minneapolis. Our subheading makes sense, but the button doesn't go anywhere. So to change where your button goes, just click on the button itself. And then what I like doing is opening the site in a new tab. All right, so then you have how it looks. And you can just right click on one of these menu tabs, like register, copy the link address, come back, and then you can just paste that right over this little hashtag sign. So that is our link right here. It's still gonna say contact today, but you can make it say something else. So maybe like register would make a lot more sense today. I think that's great. And then update it. Okay, so we can stay here in our elementary window once that updates and just go down to the next section. All right, so basically I really like these nice pink emblems and it just makes the site look professional. It's hard to create those from scratch. They are just images that Astra has created for us. So if you'd like to keep those, we can do that, we just need to get rid of some of this text and make it make more sense. So let's click on this heading right here and we're gonna make this say, what kinds of yoga do we offer? Then we're just gonna click on this subheading right here and we're gonna get rid of that. All right, if you want a different word on a different line, for example, you could try hitting enter, but that might not actually move the word. So what you can do actually is just write in a little HTML, just a trick for line break, which is open bracket br forward slash and then close bracket and that will drop the text down. Okay, next up we're gonna get rid of our subheader here because it's just too much reading. Delete and then we're actually gonna get rid of all this extra lorem ipsum so that it's super simple and it just answers the question of what kinds of yoga do we offer. Okay, so each one of these individual sections here is an image box. We can see it called image box if we click on each one and each one comes with an image, size, title and description. We're gonna keep all that. We are just gonna get rid of the text in this little text area. And if you want later on, once you have a page for each one of your types of yoga, 
then you can link that specific page right here in the link section. Super cool. Okay, I'm just opening up each image box here and getting rid of its text beneath it. Super simple and easy. All right, and this section is done. So next up we have our accolades. This is like as featured on, and I don't think people will totally understand the word accolades. So let's just make this, we've been featured on. And if that's too much text, you could change that to something like we're featured on in the present. All right, now let's click on our subtext here and we're just gonna make that say, just a small sample of the, all right, and then you can just click on the different logos here. Maybe you've won awards as a business or maybe you've written articles for different publications. You can just drop in their logo right here. If you don't have their logo, you can grab it usually from their website or from Google as long as that image is free for you to use. If you don't have that particular logo, then reach out to the website and they should be able to send you a nice PNG or a JPEG if they've worked with you. All right, I'll just give you an example of how to change one of these little logo images. Say we wanted to change Royal Flame Awards. Click on it and then you're gonna wanna get an image so we can get our blog's logo because this website is definitely featured on Dear Blogger. So here's the logo, just clicking and dragging. You just wanna right click, save image as, save it. And now we're back in Elementor. Just click where it says choose image on top of the image. Make sure you're in upload files. Click select files. Then you're gonna go to wherever your downloads are and you're just gonna select the logo and click open. Then hit insert media in the lower right and your logo will come in. And because Astra is so thoughtful, they've already made this logo grayscaled and then when you hover on it, it's colored. So how cool is that? Okay, we're featured on is done and we can go to our numbers section. So let's just click on where it says the number speak header and we're gonna change this to a few stats about us. All right, we can now click on the subtext and we're just gonna right click, delete it. And here's where you can change up the numbers so that they reflect your business. So we can just click on seven plus. We can make that just two, which is how many years you've been in business. Happy clients, I think for us that's more just like 25 or so. And then training programs, that's just gonna be the amount of yoga types we offer, which is just six. All right, so don't inflate these numbers, you know, make them represent your business and people will appreciate it. And then once that's done, we can just get rid of this subtext. So I'm right clicking on the pencil, delete, right click, delete, right click and delete, beautiful. Now we're gonna come down to benefits of yoga. All right, so this is just like another sales point right here that's gonna take people to the registration page if you want, or you could change this link so it goes to maybe like your blog page. So that's kind of cool. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna click on the blog, which is definitely something we have to fix. And to get this link, you can also just click on the URL bar, right click and copy it. Now we'll go back to Elementor and we will paste that in on BFit today. So we're clicking on the button. We're gonna paste in that link over the link area. And we're gonna change this to read our blog. So now we need to change up the text right here. So we're gonna click on the bold text and change it to our yoga blog. And you can see how I'm actually just highlighting and writing on top of the screen here. If you prefer to do that, I find that easiest because this is a point and click page editor but however you wanna edit is up to you. You can also make your changes in the left-hand column over here. All right, so we're just gonna say, come visit our blog updated bi-weekly. All right, so that part is done. All right, lastly, we just need to change this yoga picture to one of Krista. So we're gonna click on the image, click on it, click on it. If it's not changing, try clicking on the column settings in the upper left, then click style and you'll find your image. Click on the image, Pop in a picture you have that represents your business and then insert media. Super. You can also change the image position if it's not quite positioned well. All right. And pretty soon you'll find the right way to do it. Perfect, let's move down. All right, so next we have what my clients say about me. Okay, so as we can see here, we just have a basic heading. It does have a background image of a quote on it. And if you wanna change that, it's a little tricky because you're clicking on the section settings. You're like, where is it, where is it? It's actually on the middle column. So click on this little black icon that looks like a book. 
Then when you're in style, you'll see that image. You can just click it. You can change the image to another icon you have, or you can just simply delete it. But I really like it, so we're gonna keep it. Going down, you can change what your fake little testimonial errors say. You can just click on this box. For example, it's a testimonial box. Three of them lined up next to each other. Really cool. And you can change the testimonial in the top text area. So, just help me. As you can see, I believe less is more. Just a simple interjection um, that someone said about you is often best, but people can also elaborate. Okay, cool. And then once you've done the legwork to actually get the images of the people saying these words for you, you can just click on the image. So it's just like any other image in Elementor and change it. I think if we open one of these, we can see that they've been made into circle images already by Astra. So that's another task you could do really easily in PicMonkey is just convert a square image to a circle image. All right, we're going to leave those up for now because I haven't done that legwork yet. And move down to our lowest section here. So this is sort of one more call to action. I really like how Astra has created this little divider on top of the image for us, of these wavy lines. So we're gonna keep this. We're actually just gonna make it say contact us so people can reach out if they have a few more questions. So let's click on our heading and let's change this to wondering if yoga is right for you. Great, and now I'll click on the subtext and let's change it to reach out for a free chat with one of our experts. All right, and then where it says join today, we're just gonna change that to reach out. And we're gonna change that link to, of course, the register page, which is also a contact page. Copy link address, come back to the link and paste it in. All right, cool, and update. So if we go back to our homepage now, we should see that it's just about done. All right, I hope you're staying with us here and I hope you're working on your site and your site's coming together as well. Super cool. Lastly, on the home page and on every page, I think if you want to change the copyright area, you can do that by clicking customize. Now we're going to hit layout and we're going to hit footer. And then we're going to hit footer bar. And here's where you can change the copyright. So WordPress has these little short codes that pull in the current year and whatever your site's named. That's good to keep, but you might want to change what this link says. Because right now we don't have a credits page. So instead of just a credits page, I'm going to actually make this say nothing. I'm just going to delete this entire ahref section starting with the bracket. All right, and then get rid of that vertical bar. Then in the section two, we're going to make it say custom, some custom text powered by, and we're going to call this one, instead of site title, which is the name of our site, we're just going to call it Astra theme. theme. All right, and then for the link, we're going to give Astra a little shout out. Then we're going to copy their link and give them a little shout out in our footer. To give them a shout out, just paste that link over the hashtag. Delete and paste. And you can also move your mouse outside the quotation marks and write target equals quotation mark underscore blank quotation mark to make this link open in a new tab. And a space right there. All right, so that's how that's done. You can also give credit to Dear Blogger if you want. That would be awesome if you say it was made with one of our tutorials. To write out your own link like that, you could just do a vertical bar and then made with open alligator bracket, ahf equals, and then the link to us on YouTube. So that's really easy to find. You just go back to the video that you watched, make a yoga website in YouTube, and you're gonna find us right there. All right, then you would just get rid of everything after the and sign, including the and sign, to get the original link to the video, copy it, come back here and just paste that in Close the quotation mark. All right, write out another target equals under quotation mark, underscore blank quotation mark. Close the brackets and then write Greg Nurian tutorials and close the AHF. So we have our link, we have our anchor text, and you just created your own custom link. All right, that's how to edit the footer. If we publish it and then check out the site, we should see something different. All right, I'm gonna hit X to get out of here, see what we made. And just like that, you can see that our homepage is looking nice. Good job, very on point. So let's go to our About Me page and let's edit that. All right, so first off, we have this cool header, another background image, some social media, and a lot of the same stuff as the homepage. Shouldn't be too hard. 
Let's start by clicking Edit with Elementor. All right, cool, now we can just click and start editing. We have one of these emblems at the top, which we're gonna keep, that's just an image. Then we can change the text beneath it to say about Asana Anywhere. You wanna mention your brand as much as possible without being obnoxious on the site. And then we're just gonna change up this larger text. We're gonna make this say, my story of a healthy life. Of a healthy life. All right, you can see we have one of those line breaks in there conveniently. It actually doesn't need that forward slash I put in there, but that's just a different way of writing it. it does the same thing. And now we can scroll down and change up this subtext. So we're just gonna actually remove it, right click, delete, and then we have this cool little anchor button. So what's going on there? It's just a location arrow. Well, first off, it's an icon. If you wanted to add another one through the elements, like right here, it's just one of these icons. And then what it's doing is it's linking to hashtag about. So what that means is that this is an anchor link because it has a hashtag on the link. And somewhere over here in this section is the target. You have an anchor link which goes to a target. So I'm assuming that's gonna be on the settings for this large section. We can edit the section to see its settings. All right, and then we can click advanced and someone has set up the CSS ID of about, and that is a target. So you have the CSS ID about right here and then above on this little icon, you have the hashtag about link that makes them connect to each other when you click on it. All right, super cool. So now we're gonna change up this entire section or of course gonna make it say, I am Krista and not Sarah Jones anymore. Then we're just gonna change up the bold text. So click on it and write, believe it or not, I haven't always led a healthy lifestyle. And then we're gonna change up the subtext and say, family grew up in a time and era, in an era where healthy foods were not promoted or available. I watched as all right, so that looks good. Let's now change up our social media icons here. You can just click on one, for example, Facebook, and then you can open the Facebook tab right here. You have an icon and you can easily enter in your Facebook link. So that's how to do it. You would just go to facebook.com slash your page. For example, Dear Blogger is my page. Then you just click on the URL bar, right click copy, come back to Elementor, and you can paste that in the link for Facebook. All right, so that's how you do it. Now, I'm not gonna change all these because it's a little bit redundant and you might not even have some of these pages. That's totally okay. You should start with maybe one to two and focus on them. But if you wanna remove these icons because you don't have them, like I said, that's fine. People don't even really use Google Plus anymore. So once that's done, just update it. All right, beautiful. Now we can't use this background image too much. So I'm gonna click on the outer section settings click style and I'm actually gonna delete this background image and it's kind of sad because it looked really cool with that border but if we add a new image for example this picture of Krista right here leaving her cafe insert media we can see that we actually still get that cool border so how cool is that all right so I think this image is great we have Krista looking up at her sunrise and her day and full of inspiration and good vibes. We just might need to change this text so it's a little bit more clear. So if you wanna change the text color, just click on top of it, click style, text color, and you're gonna change that by clicking one of these colors or even just changing it to any color of the rainbow. You can click on this left-hand color bar and make your adjustments like so. In our case, I think I'm gonna go with white and we can close the color editor by clicking right here where it's white. All right, and then you can go to typography and make it stronger if you wanna make it bolder. You can make the weight from default to something a little bit heavier, like bold. Hit Command Z, I'm gonna get rid of that. Or better yet, we can just increase the size of it. Okay, so super cool there. Let's also change the color of our heading text. Click on the text, style, text color, white. All right, and if it's looking like it still doesn't show up that well, let's click on our background again and let's click on style and let's make the image a little bit darker. To do that, go where your image is located right here. Click background overlay, click on classic. 
and then click on color and make it black. And then on the right hand bar right here where you see me grabbing with a mouse, you can change how dark that overlay is. Okay, great job. Last but not least, we might want this text to stretch across the whole page. If that's the case, just go ahead and get rid of this column on the right by right clicking on this bookmark icon where the column is and hitting delete. Perfect. All right, great job there guys. Next up we can change the featured images down here. Just click on them. They are just an image which is offset on top of this background image all beautifully. You can change them by clicking on top of it and then changing your image as you normally would. But I actually like that they add a little bit of variety to our site and I'm gonna keep them. All right, now down below we have our accolades again, but that was on the home page, so I'm actually just gonna delete this whole section. Cool, and we're also gonna delete what my clients say because that was on the home page. And I'm gonna delete this call to action here at the bottom because that was also on the home page. All right, so there you have it. Your little story page is done and we can update it. Now, let's say you did wanna use one of those sections from the home page on this different about page. To accomplish that, you can go to the home page all right, so we're gonna go back to our home page. We're gonna click Edit with Elementor at the top. All right, once we're in Elementor, now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna grab the section we wanna repeat. So maybe it's the, we're featured on, super cool. Click on the outer section settings. So we have this outer blue area. Click on the six dots. And then once you're in this area, you just wanna right click it and you wanna save it as a template. So when you click Save as Template, it'll give you the option to enter a template name. We're gonna call this one as Featured On and save it. And this way you can save a small section from your site to the whole website. Here it is in my templates. To use it, go back to your About page. Once you update it, just refresh it so that it understands that we created a template in the background. All right, and now we are gonna add that template in. And when I've made bigger sites for clients, sometimes I create like tens, twenties of templates because then people can find them if you have other people in the site and they can put them in or you just remembered what you made like weeks ago, which can be really tricky as you build a lot in WordPress. So templates help. To use them, just click instead of on the plus where you'd add something from Elementor, you're gonna click on the folder, add template, we just have one template here, so it's super easy. Go to My Templates and Insert and click No. There you have it, folks. You've imported a section from one page to another. What you might need to do is actually just add a little more spacing because it was built for the home page. So we can click on the section settings, Advanced, and add a little bit of padding to the top. Maybe 50 is good. And then update it. All right, beautiful. Our about page is done. So let's scroll up, click on the hamburger in the upper left and view page. Great job guys, super cool. Now we can move on to our classes. Okay, so the essence of this page is talking about the different types of yoga you offer and having a slideshow and then of course, letting people register to your classes. All right, let's click edit with Elementor and let's get the job done. All right, so right at the top where it says our emblem, we're going to keep that. Now it says classes. That's perfect. We could actually just change it to maybe our classes. And then where it says yoga for your health, I'm going to change it to yoga for a healthier you. We're going to come down. We are going to right click delete the subtext. And then below we have our assortment of yoga classes. All right, so to make it easy, what I'm gonna do, and you might have guessed it, is go back to the homepage and we're gonna save this what kinds of yoga do we offer section as a template. So right click on the outer section, save as template. We can call this one kinds of yoga and save it. Now we can go back to our classes page and update it and refresh it. Always make sure to update before you refresh. Okay, great, so now that we have our template saved, we can just find where we wanna put it well, what you can do is just go to the bottom of the page where it says plus or template. Click on template. Now my templates. All right, now for kinds of yoga, insert kinds of yoga. And note. And scroll down and that's gonna be at the very bottom. So we need to drag it to the top. You can actually just click on the section settings button, these six dots and hold. And you can see we're now dragging to the top. We're gonna to put this right below where it says 
a yoga for a healthier you in that blue bar. So that's where it's gonna drop in, let go. It'll pop in and perfect. All right, we can actually just remove this little column grid too. Okay, so that looks good, super clean. We're just gonna go down now to our types of yoga that came with this page and we're gonna click X to delete that entire section. Great job, now we just have this image slider which is a little bit off position because it was relying on the other section to push it down. So what you'll need to do is click on that section settings, now click advanced and give it some margin up top, like say 100. Move it down a little. We're gonna unlink the value so that you can get rid of bottom and top will stay as is and then we're just gonna play with the top margin until you have some spacing that looks good. Okay, so maybe something like 200 even should do the trick. Sorry about that, 200 even. And there we go. All right, perfect. So our slider looks good, our kinds of yoga looks good. We're just gonna change up our pricing now. All right, so we have group coaching, private coaching, and 10% off summer offer. So three options to register. The most important thing is that that register button is gonna go to our contact page for all of them because not only is it a contact page, it's a register page. So there you have it. You can also have that button go to your email if you want, but usually people like going through a formal page. So in our case, that's the register page. Maybe you have a registration software you're using and that's on a third party site. I've seen like, for example, event websites like marathons do that where they go through a different software to process the payment and the registration. If that's the case, just get the link to that page like I'm doing here, copy it, come back to classes, click on register, and paste in that link over the hashtag sign. And we're gonna do that for each of these buttons. People don't even need to know they're going to the same page, they will still choose the individual program that they find best. Okay, so there you have it. Now we're just gonna change up the details here. So we have group coaching, which for us is not 150 a month, that's way too much, ours is just $40 per month paid via PayPal or Venmo or whatever you like doing. And then we have the text here. So join our large group classes Tuesday through and Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. in our Minneapolis headquarters. There you go, that's easy. Now we're gonna change up the bullet points. These are just an icon list, which is one of your many elements you can use an icon list right here. So we can just change that, open one of them and say, strength and core. We can close that one, just click on the tab to close it. However you want to do it. All right, so our registration section is almost complete. We just need to change the summer offer. All right, so we're gonna change that text to June 21st through August 21st, you can save an additional 10% by booking right here through our website. All right, there you have it, cool. So you might have noticed that it's gonna push your group coaching and your personal coaching down to different heights. What's going on there? Well, what's going on is just we have a little more text in this last bullet point. So if you wrote up some more stuff there like we want you to feel 100% comfortable with us. And then you added a little more text to the extra time for you. You'll see that that text should line up when the text in the icon list lines up. Okay, great job. You can now register to a class through your yoga website. So that's great for your audience. And lastly, we have a little FAQ. So. What's going on with the FAQ? Well, that's just things that people typically ask about the business. Let's go ahead and write in some common questions. All right, I'm gonna click on our first header and write, is it a good value? All right, we're gonna change the subtext to, yes, of course. All right, guys, so you're making a lot of good progress here. Just have that one more little column red thing there, delete that guy, and we can move on down. We have a call to action at the bottom and that's already on the homepage, so we're just gonna zap it and update the page. Super cool. All right, so next we have our publications page. We don't want our publications page up on the website now because we don't have enough articles about us, so we're just gonna go to the homepage and we're gonna hover on the site title and click menus. 
and then we're going to remove that publications from the menu tab for now. So just find it, open the tab, remove it, and save it. Good job. All right, now we can click back to our homepage. So that's super cool. And we can go ahead and click on our blog, which clearly needs a lot of work. I don't know why it's looking all crazy like this. But let's find out what's going on by clicking Edit Page. Okay guys, so we can see right now that we're using the new Gutenberg editor, which could be causing us some problems. What I want you to do is go to Plugins, Add New, and you're going to search for a classic editor, which is going to be the old way that WordPress was built and the editor that people loved for so, so many years. Don't know why they invested so much time in changing it, but they're smarter than me. We're just going to install now on Classic Editor though, so that you get all the old page editor stuff that was working well and you know, that's the one we like going with, generally speaking. Activate that. Now we're going to click back to our home page and we're going to check out that blog page again. Okay, blog page, edit page. All right, and our blog page is basically showing some text here, which was written in by Astra. So this is just one area that didn't really work out. No problem though, we can just hit Command A and get rid of all of it, or maybe Control A on a PC and delete it and update it. Okay, cool, and then now to further increase our chances of success with this blog, what we're gonna do is go to settings, reading, and we're just gonna make our post page right here display our blog. And in other words, our blog page is gonna be our post page. And save it. All right, so we generally like these settings in our tutorials, a static page, home is the home page and blog is the post page. Let's see what that did when we change that. Go back to our home page. Now we're going to click on blog. And we can see that the blog is now just a list of your latest blog posts. Awesome. Totally transformed this page with a little tweak of the settings, a little trick, a tweak, whatever you want to call it. All right, so cool. The only thing that looks weird here is just that our hello world post is there without a featured image. So let's go back to the dashboard. All right, and we're gonna click on posts. And now we're gonna click on hello world. Actually, we're just gonna hover on it and hit trash. So that way we don't have this post. And if you wanna get rid of it for good, you can go to your trash right here and say bye-bye to it and delete it permanently. Okay, so that's how post trashing works. Now we can go to our homepage and our blog page, and it should be looking splendid. All right, guys, you did it. Great job. We now have a yoga blog, and you can easily just change up the text and write your own posts, or hover on the skinny nav and write a new post right here. But you have a lot of cool images to work with regardless. Thank you, Astra. The last page we want to edit is register. All right, so that's going to be the most important page for people to get to know us and sign up to our business. Let's make sure we finish strong. Let's click Edit with Elementor. All right, we're going to keep the emblem. We're going to change up our first line of text to say, all right, so I like using that uh, second person, you or your, as much as possible. Communicates with people a little bit better than without it. And now we're going to, of course, get rid of this subtext. All right, so our studio address right here, we just need to change that from Princeton, New Jersey to Okay, so we're going to keep this emblem. We're going to change our fitness hours when we do business from Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. to Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. 6 is a little bit early to 8 p.m. because we like staying up and late. And Saturday and Sunday, that's actually perfect with the 8 a.m. And then for the 11, we're just going to make that a cool 3 p.m. All right. So now we find ourselves in the registration box here, which is the most important area for you to get clients. So let's make it look perfect. Okay, so to edit the map, we're gonna click on the pencil icon where the map is living, and it's a Google map. So what it's gonna ask us for is a map location right here. And if you don't wanna actually write in the exact formatting and all the commas and all, you can actually just open up your business location in Google. So I'm gonna open up Thomas Beach, which is the beach closest to where I live, where we like doing our yoga. We can actually click on the map to get the location of Thomas Beach. Pretty awful featured image right there. Come on, Thomas Beach. 
But to get the location, you can just copy whatever it says in Google. In our case, there's really no area code that I can see, but it might want that 55416 in there. So let's see what happens when we paste that in our Elementor window. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of Princeton and I'm gonna paste in Thomas Beach. Now I just click on the site and it should load up the perfect area. Awesome. So that's how smart Elementor and Astro and Google Maps are together. Okay, cool. So now that our map is in there, we just need to change it from ask me your queries to register for a fun yoga session today. All right, great job, guys. We're going to do our contact us form last because that's the trickiest part. So for now, let's make our social icons perfect. You can just click on any of them and start editing. For example, Facebook from before was our dear blogger page. You know, whatever you want to do here is fine. Maybe you don't even want people to go to your social icons right now because that's just not what you want them to do. You want the action they do to be to sign up through the form. That would make total sense to me if you want to do it that way. All right, in our case, I'm going to get rid of some unnecessary icons here. In my case, I've written those icons in like a million places, like on the blog, so I can just like copy a YouTube link and paste that in super easily. But for you, you know, use your time wisely. So I'm gonna get our page looking just like this together and update it. And now we're gonna go ahead and modify our form. So how do we modify this form? Well, if we click the pencil, it's gonna see we just have a short code for our WP forms. Well, that's cool, but how do we actually change that? Cause we can't like change it right here. This is just a way of linking the form to the website. So we need to click the hamburger icon and exit to dashboard. And now we need to click on WP Forms. And in WP Forms, you're gonna see our one contact form that our site came with. So big thanks, WP Forms. Probably the coolest contact form plugin ever. And now we can actually edit our contact form. All right, cool. So let's try clicking on what, top of one of these sections, like name, email, subject. And in our case, we don't really need subject. So what we really want to know from people is which class they want to attend, right? So let's go ahead and change subject to, all right, now we're going to open advanced options and we're going to make sure that this subject says the same thing. We can also see that we're hiding the label so it doesn't show up twice. So that's what that's doing. And lastly, we just need to update the message area. So instead of just message, let's open advanced options and let's change it from Tell us a little about your yoga experience so far. We'll respond with prices and details for the package we and any other instructions. All right, perfect. Now we can just go ahead and save it up top. And because Yoga Forms is dynamic, that will save it automatically on your site. You need to go to the right page, which in our case is the register page where that form is living. Scroll down, and there you have it. So using this form, now someone can pop in their name, email. They can tell us which class they want to attend. Like maybe they've chosen the Kundalini Yoga. Excellent choice. All right, and then when someone chooses that, they can just write it in on our form. You know, in the future, maybe you can have like a pop-up about each type of class that's a little more specific. But for now, they could just write it in. Super informal and yet effective way to get people to book your classes. Then they'll write a little bit about their experience and you can respond in a custom email once you see their message. And there you have it. You should have a new yoga client. All right, guys. So that's it for how to customize your yoga WordPress website. Hope you enjoyed it. You now have a website that will work for booking yoga classes for your new students if you're an instructor or maybe you're helping someone out who's a yoga instructor and this is the site you built for them. It'll work great. Or maybe even you're selling a different type of service like core training or abs, maybe some new type of fitness program that you've put together all on your own. That's awesome. Or even just another type of class like cooking or wellness or home improvement for which you're the expert this website should work well for all of that all right guys thanks so much for watching because i really enjoyed making this for you please make sure to rate the video if you learned anything here and post a comment with any questions i'll try to get back to you the same day on how to make a wordpress website and build a better blog i'll talk to you soon again i'm greg and ryan thanks for watching